to uh, that. <laughs> um, thank you. All right. And uh, minutes of last meeting. Uh, do we have any? Uh, uh, adjustments, um, edits, additions, deletions. I make the motion to accept the minutes. Okay. Uh, the minutes as edited. Are you talking about as edited by Mary? Yes. Okay. Um, excellent. Okay. Uh, I second. We have a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Uh, okay, any opposed? Any abstentions? All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, yes, we have Jim. Uh, so we'll be uh, getting to that shortly. Um, and any communications? No. All right. Um, so Committee reports. Uh, Jim, would you like to hear anything you'd like to? Uh, well, I pre submitted as uh, per requested. Okay. And I hope the information uh, is sufficient. Do we, have, do we have a review of that? Uh, we reviewed it again. Okay. The, the, the resubmission. I actually didn't even see it. You know, I, I think yeah, the I resubmission saw, came through and it. No, the resubmission came in. I, I, when, I, when, was, when was that? I submitted it on Thursday. Jeff yeah. Boy copied me in. Everybody on this committee, I think, got it. Yeah, he did. I don't know everybody's address, but I think. Yeah. Jen, Jen resubmitted everything to everybody. I, think I didn't. Had the what, what was the, uh, what was the address? Uh, nine, Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. When did she send it? I don't see it here. I had it. I got it too, and I, I did uh, see it. Yes. Yeah, it did come through on Thursday. Yeah. Um, for nine, for nine, so let's right? see. Updated and mapped for <laughs> nine Sleepy Hollow Road. I got it. For review at the meeting. Uh, so this was an updated letter. Is that what I'm seeing here? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. The plan didn't change at all. What you were requesting wasn't changed, right? The request didn't necessarily change. What I did was uh, sure, okay. there was some uh, lack of clarity and uh, detail. So in the memo, I uh, stated the exact dimensions of the distance back we were going from the face of the existing wall. So there was ended up being a net uh, gain for the lake bed of 27 square feet, which I had that information, but I didn't have it formalized in the memo. I had some notes here, but it, so we, I yeah. think that's what the committee wanted. And then also on the drawing, uh, I triangulated the ends of the wall off of the uh, to get, uh, points without obstruction. I used the deck stair landings that goes all the way to the ground there. So I'm on either corner of that, and that's in the drawing. It's point A and point B, and the distances are declared so that it's easily discernible after we do the wall or before. If anybody wanted to come out prior to me constructing it, well, before and after. So you have B to C, uh, B to C. Yeah, you have A to D. Yeah, and D to C. <clears throat> Well, I guess you have it as A, so it's uh, D, D to C. All right. Oh, then I made it. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Um, the wall is then located, it's, but it's still the same desire from the homeowner, property owner. And so uh, the only other thing is with the stairs. I also got a little bit more information in there where it didn't have that second dimension. You know, I just measured what was coming out into the lake. And so at the furthest point, it comes out, <clears throat> excuse me, about 48 inches or so. But as everybody could observe, that it kind of it's weird, it comes to a point. But if you go back, we, we don't want to go out four feet. I mean, that'd be great, but we don't have to uh, by any stretch. I think if I do it with three steps within the wall three steps outside of the wall. Um, the three steps would measure 48 by 12. 
so I'd be taking up about uh, 48 inches by 12 inches times three, so I'd be taking up about 12 square feet. What's presently there measures about 60 inches across, and then really where the stairs sort of start to square up, if you will, and then that weird stone is pointing out, that's only about 30 inches. So that, the five by two and a half is 12 and a half square feet. So we're gonna occupy roughly the same or a little bit less of what's there now in front of that wall that's cemented together as stairs. And the reason to do it, um, I know that the, the committee prefers four feet wide, which is fine, that's more than ample room. Uh, I wanna make them uniform, especially coming out the face, however it comes out the wall, we want them to be all uniform so that it's safe. So I wouldn't rebuild it in kind necessarily because in kind is kind of not right. So I would make it uniform and more safe for the property owner to use. So I'm requesting three three steps to be located outside of the face of the wall. Is there any structural reason why you want to come out into the lake rather than go in? Well, you know, that's a good question. The, the less amount of stairs within the wall is always better from uh, first a safety standpoint because you've got, the further back you go in, you have more opportunity to fall. Mm -hmm. So if it's, you know, three or four feet down, you know, from the corner of the wall, you can step off. You'd be stepping enough if you're walking on the wall. So you'll know, like it if you can push them out. Uh, and secondly, but not as- Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to interrupt the, in the spirit of it. But let's stick to what the regulations are and let's address only those issues. And right now, structure is not an applicable. Well, I don't even think I'm speaking to structure, anyways. I'm speaking. No, to no, but I'm just. But but I'm saying let's let's stick to yeah. the factors of whether we're conforming to the Making regulations or excuse me guidelines. Yeah. Um, just to try to narrow in on this. Sure. Okay. Um, so. Right now, excuse me, Mike. Yeah. Michael. Excuse me. Are we um, formally discussing this application now because on the agenda for later? Are we moving this up on the agenda? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Bob, you, you were... He breaks up. Application to discuss later in the meeting. Hey, Bob, Bob, can you turn off your video? Please, can you turn off your video? Turn off your video. What Bob was asking is, are we addressing this in the right part of the agenda? Is what he asked. Well, we're. Can you hear me, Michael? Yeah. Okay. You 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 asked for audience of citizens if there was anything to be added to the agenda. This is a formal application that I think is on the agenda and should be discussed later, not now. We are, we, we are, we are, in, we're now in committee reports and we're under permits, the first line item. I did, oh, okay, I didn't hear any committee reports. I, well, you didn't because it's the first item on the committee reports. Yeah. Right? Okay, go ahead. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. So, so I just want to get back to how does this application? Stick with the facts, yeah, just the facts, man. Uh, how does this application, um, re, or how, how does this re application conform or not conform to the guidelines? Correct. Just on that side, please are focused on that. Jim, were those stairs I, out in the lake before? That's not I'm talking about. There's they were already there's, out in the lake before, there, so there, that's kind of a grandfather there, part of it. There's 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 there. that, that's what you're getting at. The subcommittee went out and looked at it as well. The stairs are sticking out into the lake right now. Absolutely. Okay, so the there's, stairs are fall under grandfather. Is everybody? And we're, we're going to vote on this, so yeah. this is not an informal. But so okay, so the stairs are covered. Is there anything else? That we need to. If we're reconfiguring the wall, then the stairs would not be grandfathered. Say that again. Can't hear. 
if, we, if the wall had been reconfigured, then the stairs would not be grandfathered. Mm, I, I don't You're saying if the wall is being reconfigured, the stairs would not be grandfathered. It doesn't look like that part is being reconfigured. It's not. It's it's really the other side of the dock. Of being it's what and what what it appears to me in, look, in looking at this, if I'm looking at this accurately, is that the stairs are effectively in the same place, and the wall on either side of it is being reconfigured. Is that what is that what I'm on either side saying? of the stairs? The wall is a little indent in the wall on the other side of the dock. Yeah, which is it's going to be here. straight. Yep. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it's a net gain for the lake bed of 27 feet. 27 feet. 27 feet. But our guidelines, yeah, I agree that we're talking about two different sides of the wall. Right. But so let's just focus on the stairs. Yeah, so the stairs. Did you see the stairs? <laughs> yeah. The stairs are there's the there's there's multiple components to this permit. There are stairs, a dock, and a wall. So is that what we're we're talking about? So let's 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 focus on these three components right. separately. The stairs and the wall would be considered one if the wall was being changed on the side of the stairs. Where does that say that? It's not. It's not. No, you're saying right. it's not. The, the stairs are on the other side. So he's saying that yes, that's right. That that's right. So, so are so, are the stairs being replaced in kind, or are they a different configuration? Making them smaller. Basically, in kind. Maybe. Well, or, he's making, or small. He's making them smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Then they're not. Then then that's not necessarily in kind. Also, do the three risers of the stairs. Existing go into the lake, or is that a reconfiguration? I, I, I'm sorry, Bob. Can you please repeat that? Sure. There are three. There are proposed three steps going into the lake. I believe. Are is uh, that there, the existing condition there, right uh, now? There's three steps going into the lake now. There are three steps. Very rough. Okay. Cemented stuff, and it's. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, there are masonry stairs going into the lake. There are three masonry steps going into the lake, and that's what is on this permit application. Okay. Okay, great. Good. The uh, regulations do allow for grandfathering uh, issues to change if it's a net improvement uh, sure. to uh, the, the lake and more in conformance with the regulation. So we do not have to insist that it be built exactly the same way it is done. We can't approve it if it's going to be more grandiose, but if it is no, but if the stairs are proportioned perfectly exactly. and built nicely, why would you okay? I mean yeah. that we're I think we're all in favor. So yeah. we're, we're all in the same understanding that the there are currently three masonry steps that go into the lake. And that is what's going to be done uh, in this application. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So are, are the stairs resolved at this point? I, th I think they are. Okay. I'm Moving along, the dock. Is the dock going to be replaced exactly as it is now? Okay. So is everybody comfortable that that's resolved? Yes. yes. Okay. So then let's laser in on just the wall. We are now of the understanding that as a board, we are comfortable with a net gain to the lake. Is that what I'm understanding? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. And that's what this represents. And there are dimensions and calculations that support this, this, uh, this, uh, there is. this game. Net gain of 27 feet. Yes. Yeah. It's been inspected, right? And, and it, it's, been, it's been reviewed on site. Okay. Yep. So now we have all the information. Okay. So is there is there a motion on this application? I have a motion that we approve it. Okay. Second. So we have a motion. We have a second. Do we have any further discussion on this permit application? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Any abstentions? 
So moved. You're all set. Yeah, a couple yeah. days before it gets cold again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not watching you, Blair. Chop, chop. <laughs> I'm not kidding. As well you should. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, thank you. And thank you for working with us. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate your efforts. Your stakes, so I know yes, make sure you don't disturb the eagles because they're. Yeah, that's well, I saw they were. Okay. Okay. Let's stay. Let's stay focused, guys. Thank you. All right. All right. Moving along. Um, Dan, do we have any uh, any updates on the dam? Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Permits. Any other permit? Any other permits that need to? Uh, yes. Be reviewed. Yes, Coster. Yeah. Costa. Yeah. Uh, we were out there the other day did an inspection. Uh, it's a pretty simple application. He has undermining of a step at the bottom of the seawall. Currently, it's currently. The yeah, he's, he, yeah. Okay. And Jim and I were there the other day, and he just wants to keeping in the same parallel as the wall is the bottom step. Yep. And the bottom face of the bottom step is the same uh, face of his bottom of the seawall. So he wants to hammer that one step out. Dig down, same same place, but yep. dig down same like footprint. twelve inches, put so you can put a footing under that same step, yep. and then bring it down. And we are back to the same level as the existing step. So, 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 so and that way it's it a repair of existing. Exactly. Okay. It's, it's very going to be the same. Not anything into the lake bed. Yes, to either either where we talk over for forty five minutes. So. Given that there are no changes, no that, changes. That, is this just an administrative approval? Administrative, yes. Okay, exactly. so no further discussion. Nope. Moving on. Okay, great. The only thing I want in the in there is that he make sure he takes all of his yeah. concrete and crap yeah. off the lake bed. Well, that, did tell him that, but it should be in the right. It should be in the, in the that right. any debris yeah. when you check jackhammers the old one out. Shouldn't be thrown, dispersed. And it should be carried out, and that, that we told them that and said okay, but it should be in the writing. That's well, all. We're going to so we we can follow. Yeah, we'll follow. We'll do it. Uh, I just want to make sure that was brought up. Fair. Okay. So, but that'll be put in the line. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Great. Thank you. Um, and so, uh, who will be writing the approval letters to the to the board or probably, to the? Honestly, probably Mary. Mary. Yeah. Okay. 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 So you'll 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 be yeah, 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 yeah. on both on both uh, yeah. subjects. Okay, yeah. great, thank you. All right, um, moving along. Uh, dam emergency plan. That's what dam. Uh, oh, the dam. Uh, so we have a dam report here. We have uh, yeah, submit that's report. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I have it here. Is that the one dated uh, December first? Correct. Yeah. Is that the latest one? Yeah. That's the latest one that she did. Yeah, that's okay. the last one that we got. I uh, got a question. I, I I didn't have a chance to review the report, but I want to make the inquiry: Are we uh, opening the uh, dam to maintain uh, the five and a half foot level, or we're, I think we're it. It looks like it's uh, Beth has been up and down with the, the valve, so I've seen it as I drove by. But right now, I think it's about four inches open. So water is flowing. And it's, it's kind of the water level does seem to be maybe a little higher than minus five and a half. So that, that's what we wanted. Okay. So she's she's watching. I haven't had any contact with her, but she's uh, she's on top of it. So. Okay. All right. So uh, any further discussion on the management of the dam? Okay. All right. Uh, dam emergency plan. Is there any updates there? Yep. Okay. Water quality. Do you have any uh, any water quality reports or anything from our uh, board? We can if we can just go back to the dam for one comment. Yep. Sure. Uh, I'd like to tee up on the February uh, agenda the fact that we're going to look at where we are in the winter, and if we have no ice, we may be wanting to. Uh, authorize the lake to come up. Uh, so that would be a typical discussion. So we should just uh, you know, put it on the agenda. So, uh, yep. So, uh, for, uh, for what did we do uh, last year? We got some ice and then we opened it up and it was okay, right? Well, yeah, let's, we, 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 we had some, we were too high last year. But we, well, we, we let it come up and uh, we managed to pull, pull it through. Yep. So, 
for February under new business, we'll have no ice uh, lake level management. Well, I wouldn't even say no ice. Just we'll, we'll talk about lake level. Lake level. Lake level, 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 level. Lake level management. Management. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, all right. So getting back to uh, our little ping pong match here. <laughs> Any, uh, anything else on the dam? No? Okay. So water quality. Are there any other reports on water quality? Mark, did we receive anything? Any further updates from uh, our, our consultant on water quality? We have not. Okay. Thank you. Um, any fishing or is there anything else on water quality? No. Any fishing? Only oh, guys got any drugs. Only yeah. diving ducks. Yeah, they're doing a great job. <laughs> All right. We don't have any fish left to the shop. They're eating them all. Yeah. Uh, access safety and regulations. Oh, I'm fishing. If we choose. Yep. <laughs> I may mean, explode tonight. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I, we have put up signs for ice fishermen. Yes. I went and looked at it last year at the end of the season, and I didn't make any comment on it. We're having them dump their water and their minnows into a drain that goes right back into the lake. Are you kidding? And, and that just doesn't make any sense. The fish may die, but if there's algae in the water uh, or uh, any kind of uh, uh, protozoa or whatever that are that are going to uh, you know, become seeds or whatever, it's all going to wash back in the lake. We had talked about having a barrel uh, for that to put in. And if we had a 50 gallon barrel, it probably last all season before it became frozen with, with fish or whatever. But I don't think we should be telling them to put it into uh, a drain. Yeah. I didn't know they were doing that. Okay. Okay. I didn't see uh, I saw, Mark, I thought I saw a barrel. Mark, uh, yeah, uh, based on back when George Murphy set that up, he felt that drain did not go to the lake. But then uh, Beth Lunt just recently told me that it does. So I, I think we need to come up with another solution. So we're not, I believe Henry, based on Beth's latest comments, is correct. Um, but There's whether that drain could go, everything, yeah, well, well, how could whether it would make it all the way to the lake from the parking lot, I don't know. How about if we get a portalette down there? Let them dump into that, and then they can suck it out. Well, we always have a portalette there, but well, tell them to dump it into that. You, a hey, barrel would be fine. Just pop some holes in the barrel, yeah. and and it'll just drain into the parking lot. Why we, we, we don't even want it to drain? The idea well, is when they take the when they go to the base store, uh, they get the water that's coming out of the stream, and most of the time when I go into the base store. The, the tank has got algae in it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, That's for and, sure. you know, if some of that gets into the thing and then they just dump it out, which they typically do at the end of the weekend in the hall, we've got whatever's there. And, we, you know, we were making people take their boats to out of the watershed to wash them. There's no reason we shouldn't make it, it, it either have people required to take their bait away but the, and with their water. The simplest yeah, thing is to just but collect Henry, You can require them to do that. You're not going to just gonna throw it yeah, in. Yeah, well, that's why it's something easy else. enough to get into a barrel and let it freeze. It's going to take a long time before you fill up a 50 gallon barrel. So, what does the sign say down there? It says it, to dump your bait in a barrel or does no, it, 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 says, you sign it, it says no light light. No way to direct you right over to the drain and it says here. <laughs> You want to yes. No, I so, don't want to dump it into the drain. Who, who was the guy that said that it didn't go to the lake? Our former, uh, I guess, apparently our former head. Of it's right next to the lake. Where, where do you think it would go? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, well I think. Us, so. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just for anybody that I was sitting here listening to that, it's just stupid. I, I think I he felt it did not have a direct access to the lake. That it would just fill up that drain and ooze away and never make it. Okay. All right. So what's our what's our solution here? Put up well, a fifty gallon barrel and collect it, and ta take it away every two weeks. Mark, is that a uh, is that an option? Yeah, we could do that. And you probably your chances of them dumping in a barrel that's right by the launch is probably a much higher chance than 
than exactly. making a 50 yard walk to a drain. Yeah, okay. Maybe put a nice sign on it so I get it. Yeah, sorry. Right. So can you, uh, can you uh, take care of that, please? I'll make that happen. Thank you very much. You got All it. All right. Uh, moving along, is anything else on fishing? I'm taking a beat. I'm taking a beat on that. <laughs> Access, safety, and regulations. Any, anything? Uh, anything on that? Any updates? Have we gotten? Are we talking about for what was it done? Uh, monitored by Boat Patrol this summer? Is that what we're looking at under that topic? Yes, that would be part of Boat Patrol. Would be part of Access Safety. Did we get a report on what they've done this year yet? Uh, did we get a report? Did we get a report last? The last, the last yeah. report was back in October, no, September, uh, October. What was the last report we got from Boat Patrol, Mark? Did we? I thought it was November. Yeah, we, we've been waiting on yeah. the registration information. Thank you. And oh. we said that we wanted it this meeting. Correct. Or in advance of this meeting. Okay, Perfect. so we were able to download all the registrations we had. And um, we don't have it ready to show you this meeting, but it's not as extensive as we had been led to believe. Um, so put that on the agenda for next meeting. I'll show you what we have. Hang on, I'm going to get angry at you, Mark. We've been well, asking for this for months, and we said last meeting, absolutely this time before this meeting. That was more than 30 days ago. If we could have had a, a monk in a monastery copy it by hand in that period of time. Come on, we need to get this stuff done before next season. And it may require changing the law and our ordinance. And we can't wait for this kind of stuff. Have the cell phone delivered to us and we'll take it off. Well, we have pulled it off, so we have it off the cell phone. All right, can we have it within a week? Email to all of us. I will see what form it's in and whether we can package it up like that. Are we, are we just looking for a spreadsheet or even the raw information? I think at this point, somebody on the committee can we create the spreadsheet faster. Why don't we just get the whole folder and do it ourselves? I mean, it's, it's on the phone. phone. So, what, 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 do, do we know what the how the uh, Mark? This is direct uh, directed to you. Do we know how the um, information what is what it is currently? Is it is it sheets of paper? Is it no? It's um, all it's all camera phone shots of registrations. So are we going to do it differently next year so it would be easier to. Yeah. Get the information and how and what are we doing for next year? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're trying to figure out. Yeah. I know, but I want to know what their ideas were. We told her, well, Mark, if you need some help putting this information together, I'd be glad to help do that. Great. Thank you, Mike. Well, you know, okay. What, so we, Mike, might, what, what we might want to do is instead of putting it all onto an Excel form and then putting it back onto something else that we're talking about, is that if we come up with what we want, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming what we're going to try to do is create a, an electronic template so that template can be used every time. And then, and then right there at the, at, the, at the site, they can type it in exactly. and, well, and, and have it, and then, then it will be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hear you, but we're not there yet. We just want the information. Right, yeah. but, so, but I don't know why we can't talk about how we want to do it. Well, yeah. Even though we don't have the information. Because that might it will need to be a spreadsheet. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so what what's design that? Yeah, what's what's the goal of this? What, what do we want to accomplish? We need to run and record the information so that we have it. We we've also got uh we're relying on what's on that statement to determine horsepower. And we know that there have been some violations because that the uh, uh, they haven't, those uh, certificates haven't been looked at uh, this past season. And so we're looking to create a database to know where we have violations so that we can diplomatically approach those people before they show up at the boat launch and uh, resolve 
the situation. There's marine information too you can get right off of engines with serial numbers. So we used to do it at my marina. Right. So well, we right. You all the specs. Right now, for last year, the best we have are these photo shots. But the worst case scenario, what happens if somebody's got to spend an hour printing out 20 pictures off their cell phone or 200 pictures off their cell phone? We didn't see more than 200 boats. You know, it's, it's going to take all in 90 minutes. And Mike's willing to do that. Yes. Right. So all we need is the phone. What happens to all the paperwork, Mark? Every year that I've been here, when I registered my boat or brought it down to the launch, they had a form that they filled out. Where do those get stored? Well, the problem was we used to do a whole paperwork system. Then they went to a cell phone system and took pictures and created uh, note databases of everyone who registered a boat. I ask you is where's all those old records? Old records, I would imagine, are still down in the rec department. I'd have to look. Well, we can get a lot of information off of those because a lot of people keep their boat for a long time. Right. We got people that are willing to look at it. So I mean, we just need the access, access to the information and we'll do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Mark, uh, by uh, Friday, can you at least get back to us and let us know what the status of the information is? And then, uh, Mike, sounds like you and Mike can coordinate uh, putting that information together. In a, in I'll a, help you too. Mike. Yeah. Spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. Was Mike or was, was it uh, Bob uh, that was going to do a spreadsheet or make something so that we have a form going forward? What we, we do need to. What you mean, like a sample type form? For yes, next year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and and a uh, database that uh, onto which the information from the form will. Well, well I, 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 I would think that I, ideally, can, ideally, if we create a, a template, but but a template that can be be uploaded into a spreadsheet and a database. That way, we're not doing it two and three times. Correct. It, it you know, they, can, they can simply right there when they're doing their inspection. Yeah, on the on the iPad, even on the phone, put the information in, and, and then they that. upload that into the, the database that we create, whatever it is, uh, Excel or whatever we end up using. But that that's what we just simplify things, and then we'll have all the information on every boat and you know historic information as well. Oh, going forward, when they get checked in in the spring, you know, get the serial number, bang, so it's all come back up, and that boat's good. So getting the information from last year is good, but more important is what do we do going forward? Yeah, it's all important. Some way, but I think what's going to happen is that I think what's going to happen is that spreadsheet. In some cases, what what they inspect, and then when you come back later on and, and have that database, and then you and you type in the serial number, it's going to say a different horsepower than what you saw down there. Well, that's going to happen. They're going to have to look at the that will tell us that okay, this is an issue, and we can go diplomatically talk to the person and find out what's going on with the boat and that thing. Because you know we all know there's a handful of boats out there that are like that. We just don't have any you know proof, yeah. and, and this will give us what we need to, to actually talk through. So you, Steve, you and Mike is going to meet with Mark and pick up that information. Yeah, I'm going to go see him tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, so we're all set there. Um, anything else on access, safety, and regulations? Well, Mike, Mary did put that request in about um, those flywheels and these uh, um, flying board water jet packs that there were hazards to the lake, and she was concerned um, on the environmental impacts on the lake and the size from the wake boats. So we go out of order. It's Flying board, flying board water, water jet, jet packs. packs. What is that? Safety hazard. Those are those things. It's a hose that hook up to a jet ski and a jet ski uh oh. pulls you up in the air. I haven't seen them. I've never seen them. Right? I don't I don't know if they're around. Good use those years ago. You know, this, we, we've looked at those. Yeah. The, the other issue is there is not a there is not a 150 horsepower engine that could drive one of those. Yeah. I don't I, I think you need you know something in the oh, 250 yeah. or 300 I, I, horsepower. I remember this came up years we, ago. We, yeah. we, we said they couldn't be used. Yeah. Correct. So why are we? Well, well she I said if there, there are some. Heard. I don't think anyone's ever had one. I, and they're not very no. popular anymore. Yeah. I don't well, know. I don't see very often. You might see that there YouTube sure. a little bit, or you yeah. might go to a, a resort that has them. Yeah. Well, I really own one privately. They're they're pretty expensive. 
Well, and not only, you know, could there be some uh, environmental issue, I don't know that I would want to use one of those at Columbia Lake and it's just not deep enough. Right. That's exactly yeah. what she was saying. Yeah, the guy that dives head first in there. Yeah. 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 I don't have a printout, but there was one more issue there. There are these um, Wait, foil, hydrofoil, foil, oh, foil, foil uh, surfboards. I've yeah. seen those. There's no more of power. Yeah. We do have. We've seen at least I've seen at least one on yeah, the it, it it goes about four feet out of the water. It, it from whatever torque develops, they're able to stand two feet in front of the foil and basically surf around the lake if it's calm. Yeah. Uh, so it's it, it, what's what's the issue wrong with that? The wake boards throw wakes against the stone walls. No, 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 no. He, no. What he's talking he's about. Talking about a no, 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 I, an electric I, motor I, I'm on. telling you what he said, what he just described is a self-powered foil surfboard. Oh, okay. I'm and sorry. that has no so, zero wake. I'm not no. sure if that's illegal in Connecticut because Connecticut has uh, rules about uh, water skiing, self-propelled water skiing things. I'm not, you know, you can't, yeah, I, I may have these uh, jet things with a rope behind them. Yeah, you now, 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 how is so it that, regulated? Yeah, is it that, different? That's different. I'm telling you, that's so that no that fall under that category. Mary, Mary had some information on it, and, and I don't know that she gave it to us, uh, but about how it's there are problems in 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 New York and elsewhere with them and so forth. If we if she didn't make a full report. Uh, that I missed, I think we should just put it on the February uh, agenda. You're, so said, you're, you're saying you want to put on the February agenda, you want to put evaluating self propelled. No, no, no. I, I think we're we'll just, 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 just review what Mary's yes, uh, concern was. was. We don't even know what it was. Let's just table this. I don't know uh, her, her issues until February when she's she here. two issues and yeah. nobody seems to be too perfectly clear on what. Yeah, are. she put in she put in a note wakeboards specifically. Well, she said, yeah, well, not clear. If, if, I, if, if it's, if it's for this, if, is it this one? Well, she says, she says flying yeah. board water jetpacks. And that's, that's in, the addition, one jet in addition, the wakeboards. Yeah. See the next no, sentence? no, she says wake boats. So wake she talked boats, about like my boat when I wake. load it up with in, in surf behind. Yeah, but nothing, nothing throws a wake worse than one of those on this lake. Nothing. Right. Yeah. Well, so then, but there are two surf. different, there's two different things. Mm -hmm. She's talking We're about talking about three things then. Well, uh, this, this is why don't we wait instead? This is what we're yeah, killing yeah. Yeah. Why, why don't we just postpone it until Mary's here? She can explain what we're talking about. Okay, no one's using the boats next step. Yeah. Because otherwise we're just gonna be guessing. Okay. Um, so we're tabling it. Tabling, we're tabling yes. that piece from Mary's clear from Mary's yes. Um, okay, so moving along to Mary's please let her know that we table that so that she can prepare. If I will. If yeah. not, I'll send it to her. Prepare somebody else to present it. Yeah. So is there anything for a watershed watershed management plan? No. Stormwater culverts. Was there any, did anything ever develop from the stormwater culvert evaluation? From last meeting? I don't know, but I have a comment on it. Okay, I want, I want Mark to. Well, yeah, is there anything new, Mark, from Beth on that? Well, we finished the two stormwater culverts at Airdoni. So those have been rebuilt. And we're putting in the budget um, a much bigger budget so we can engineer the five worst culverts in Columbia and have them ready to go in case any uh, grant funding or if we want to fund them uh, comes forward. So that's where we are. I've also been looking at different culverts that are uh, causing problems due to leaf buildup in the above ground area before it goes into the culvert and some of our worst culverts around the lake. I've talked to Steve and he's shown me pictures of how he's building culverts. I've talked to um, Jim Blair. He's shown me some culverts he's recently built. So it, it's going to be a much, much bigger discussion on 
how do we handle culverts and what's the responsibility of the town versus the responsibility of the homeowner to keep their culvert clear of leaves and debris. Right. But Mark, there, um, come, come, it was now, what, a year and a half ago, whatever, we sat down and we did talk about at one point, knowing that, that there's a lot of issues with the town and, and, and the landowners and there's a lot of issues, there's tons of issues, but there's, there's even more culvert that we know need to be worked on and repaired. There was some, some discussion saying that, that, that you, I don't know, not, not you, but I mean that the town would try to figure in their budget at least a handful of culverts to be repaired, not even knowing what they, which ones they are. We can worry about that after. He just said, but they're five. But is that the case? Five, we're going to put in the budget. The way I heard you just say it is that you're going to engineer five and then wait to see if we get money, you know, from the state. But well, I no, the culverts I'm talking about are, are the big ones under roads, you know. Yeah, but not the small culverts feeding into all of your side roads. But yep. I want to put 200000 in the budget so we have plenty of money to start doing engineering on yep. what we find to be our worst culverts. But is that just for this year? That's my question. Is it just for this year? Or are we going to try to do it every year, put an X amount of money in the budget for culvert repair around the lake? Because... Once we finish them all, we're going to have to start again. If we're only doing about a year, you know what I mean. So we talked about that. I didn't know if that made is is that going to happen, or is this just a one year thing you're you're putting? No, in? it's not a one year. It's going to be in a five year plan for okay. an effort to get a handle both engineering and to start rebuilding our culverts. Okay, so it's not, but even that's a one time deal. You said a five year plan well, to do a handful. Every budget is a one-year budget. Yeah, I, I get that, but we're going to keep putting them in. That, that was the idea. Is that well, that's, 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 that's what he said. It's a five-year yes. plan. Okay. Thank you. So if he, if, you know, if you do five a year, that's twenty-five. Oh, okay. If that's what he meant, I, I that's, took that's what that's what I heard. Okay. Uh, Mark, I didn't, I didn't hear it that way. Mark, is that what you meant? Um, we're. Uh, the push to the board of selectmen is going to be to start off this year with 200,000 for engineering. I think you're going to have to keep funding to actually build all this. So it's going to be every year, a major amount of money going towards culvert and also road repair. We're behind in road repair as well. well that five is for five years. Just, at least that's what I keep hearing you say. Is it for five years, we're going to get five done or is that's what we're Five years it'll take to do five, five complete no, projects. No, 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 no. Yeah, five projects, but he doesn't even know how many. Right now, he's just in planning and engineering for five of them. No. The problem is, we've got to get ahead of this. We have to engineer all these culverts. That's the number one focus because right now, the permitting process to do anything is taking three to five years. I'm still working on the Hunt Row culvert. I started that three years ago. Yeah. I'm no, waiting for. I, I understand for, that. So right now we're only looking at for the next five years to get five done, permitted, and built and, and fixed. Well, what we're trying to do is, we have the five worst on the targeted plan in the long range plan, but we got to start expanding that past the five worst culverts and get on to looking at the culverts around the lake. And where else um, we can start repairing culverts? Like right now, we have to finish um, Hennequin. We've been doing culverts across Hennequin for now six years. And, and those five culverts on the lake now, or are these all five culverts elsewhere? Not just the lake. There's five culverts. How many of the five are on the lake? I'd have to, unfortunately, I'm at home. I don't have my list of the five worst culverts in front of me right now. But one's Hunt, and what's the next one in front of Hunt? It's another road. We, uh, culvert studies were, were part of what our consultants did and what they reported on in December. Yep. Uh, I have not seen, and I may have missed because it was the holiday season, but did, did we get the final annual report from them yet? Uh, yes, we, we, we've had that for a while, and we've already repaired Erdoni, which was on that list of a culvert that had to be done immediately. 
but is that report been circulated to us? It has not. I have it available. Well, we're LMAC. Why is it not circulated to us? If we, if we, we, could you please, have, sir, could you please circulate it? I could do that. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Yep. Can I have a question, Mark? Yep. Mark, um, I, I, I heard you say that you're applying for grants or you're preparing to, to um, apply to grants from the state. If it's anything that to do with culverts on the lake, would that institute an issue that we're taking state money for our lake repairs? And then that would change our status as a private lake? No, because all the culverts are on our roads. Yeah. Town roads. Okay. I'm not doing sure because if it affects the lake, I don't want I, I, it's state money. That's a good point. It's it's state good point. money, and if it affects our lake, could very well change the status of our lake. Well, Mark's saying it's not, but we should I, double check that. I think that's it's something that our lawyers worth, should look at. It's worth double checking that. Okay. I, I just you, you know. There's always inroads for the state to figure out how to make our lake public. Well, we got a grant for the Hunt Road culvert, and eventually the Monopon water will make it to the lake. But yeah, this is something that could be very seriously challenged by the state. Well, yeah, but but I think I think, I, I, and I don't know for sure. That's why we should check it. But I think it, like on state roads, they're responsible for the culverts. I mean, it doesn't matter what it relates to, but it's possible for it, and it wouldn't affect it. But he just said. Status. No, I know, what you're, I know what you're saying. So I think, I think you're absolutely right. You should yeah. definitely be a better but, but I think, you know, he's right in the fact that, you know, state roads, they're responsible. Town but road, we're responsible unless we get there. He out. just said Mono Pond was done, and that flows into the lake. So there, you know, a good lawyer. Yeah, I know what you're saying. That's why we should check it. I think we need to be very, 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 very cautious on that. Agreed. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Uh, so, Mark, you you we're clear on that? Yes. Okay. Um, budget review. How are we doing with our budget, Mark? Um, Mary and I are going to be getting together with Carl from our um, limnologist and um, requesting a new proposal uh, to go into this year's budget. So, I just talked to Mary about that today. Okay. Right. The rest of your, most of your budget is the limnologist. Right. We sh we should have that uh, proposal uh, for our review and approval as a committee in February, uh, and not just leave it to uh, Mark and Mary. I'm sure Mary represents us well, but we should review it. Yeah. As Mark, will we have a chance to review the, our budget for next year? Yeah, I don't think that proposal is going to be very difficult. It's, it's um, unless you in advance have some very specific requirements that you want that would change the proposal from what we did last year. Okay. Does anybody have anything that they see in addition to what we're already doing that needs to needs to be done? Well, we postpone having having any citizen uh, involvement in it last year and there were some uh, uh, things that the they recommended in December that we uh, considered doing and there were some options uh, last time around that we left on the table and didn't do. I think we should review them all. Uh, I'm sure Mary will well, review them all. We have a, we're, we're waiting to get a proposal from them for next year. From the limnology, right? GSA. But we, we, we're also part of it. The GSA, we limnologist. It, it, part of it is what we request them to propose on. Uh, yeah. And I, well, I trust Mary to do a good job on that, but I think we should all uh, review yep. it and get back of it. Okay. It's uh, GZA, right? Is there Nielsen, Carl? Is that who you're talking about? Yeah, the firm. Carl, uh, Carl yeah. Nielsen. Yeah. The yeah. firm is GZA. T TRC. Oh, TRC. TRC. We were GZA. Yeah, yeah. right. Sorry. Okay. Um, moving along. Uh, geese. Anything? Uh, so we're waiting. I guess the Canada Geese Study will conduct the first meeting 
via Zoom next week. There's been tons of them out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I want to commend Steve for the um, wind vane he's put on the top of his roof to scare away geese. <laughs> I was thinking of humans, but as long as it works out, the geese, I guess that's good. <laughs> um, so, are we? So, it, is Min coming to a meeting again, or where are we at with this? Or, oh, he's just going to be part of the sub. He's going to be part of the study group. In the CLA group, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I counted um, ninety. Oh yeah. And uh, that's low. Yeah, well, this is just one group. Yeah. You know, there was one group. Very good. Kind of 123. Yeah, I was going to say, I've seen that. freezing over is not in our favor. Yeah. Um, so, is anybody, so we're just going to wait to see what this uh, study group comes up with before we yeah. do anything. Okay. Um, gate repair. This is uh, is there an update to the gate? Preparing the gate. Mark, I haven't gotten an update from Beth recently. I know we are still um, waiting for a permit. Okay. And uh, then uh, Bob Miller, he's not here um, to discuss the perm permit link tracker, so that will stay in old business. Yeah. Um, and uh, it says new business follow up TRC Carl Nielsen. What was that just to get their final report? Or yes. Was, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll get that and review anything next. And the town beach. Uh, That's an issue. Yes. So the town beach, there's dredging removal, and then also that Mary had something about erosion. So is there, are these two related or? She was concerned about the drainage coming in through those pipes over to the town beach and then by Niles. And um, I know she's been looking at that for quite a while along with the Niles. Yeah. And there's all kinds of garbage coming in through that area too. So I don't know if that's covered under, do you cover that under culverts or does it go Where's back? Where's Niles? Is that? Blue Scotty's house? Uh, no, the next we're, one over. We're, we're talking yeah. about the culvert that you're dropping the bait fish in. Huh? Yeah, the same one? Yeah, that one. It sounds like they're cleaning out their boat at the same time. Throwing all the crap in uh, But the town was going to do uh, some sand moving, and, and we were going to be reviewing that. So maybe Mark can speak to that. They already moved the sand. They did. They did. I watched it. It's already been taken out. I watched it. It's all done. Okay. I don't know if it's all done. Is it Mark? Yes, they, they dug, well, we got a much bigger problem. They dug out the boat area, but um, the two pine trees that we had wanted to remove when we originally did the whole wall project fell on the um, gazebo, on the boathouse. Yeah, so the boathouse is destroyed at the moment. We're put in for an insurance claim, and we're going to have to rebuild it. It knocked the whole it, it knocked the whole roof sideways. It doesn't look bad, it looks fine, but everything is broken. That happened in that storm? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So those pine trees all have to go and the boathouse has to be totally rebuilt. So the boat will not be in the boathouse the start of the season. Wait, wait, sorry, the gazebo got hit or the boathouse or both? Just the well, gazebo. Both up the same thing. The boathouse is under the gazebo. Oh right, yes, right, okay. Uh, you have pictures? Yeah, yeah. So Egan's are Egan's are the ones that are having a problem, and so are Niles. Egan's is Scotty's old house. All right. Yeah. And that's where that drain's coming from. Where's all the garbage coming from? One of the culverts across. That's what Mary is thinking. Right, of like Lake Road or down Lake Road. Is that yeah. all the does that happen every winter? It's been happening right along and it's okay. never been taken care of. Okay. Well, is that, is that across the street at the uh, house on the corner of Hankin Road? Yep, it comes right, right on the opposite us. corner. Kind yep. Of. So they've had trouble over there. So are we, is there anything that we need to do right now in the meeting or do we, uh, are we putting most of this until next uh, 
Next one. Uh, it's uh, it's on the uh, the town beach erosion, dredging, sedimentation, and garbage. Is there any, any action? Well, that, that, I think we also, that was one of the culverts I think that the, the annual report addressed. So I just think we have to wait and uh, look at it, take it up at one time. Apparently, the dredging's been done. So, um, that's the way, but I do think we need to look at the erosion issue so that hopefully we cut down on the amount of dredging that needs to be done going forward. But that may be part of what we want to have our analysis advisors on next. Well, just so everyone knows, as part of the recommendation for erosion control, we did put silt fencing up around the beach to retain the sand from blowing towards the cove. Yeah. on the other side of the beach. Mark, Mark when, when you dredged, or you took you took that sand away, they, they hauled it out? Or I watched them do what, it. What did, did they do tell you what they did with it? They should have replied. Re 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 Mark, Mark mm -hmm. he froze. So what's wrong with that? They no, he said, no, 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 just hold on. I, I want to hear what Mark has to say. I believe we pulled it out from the in front of the boathouse and put it back on the beach. The beach. Okay. Have something you want to add to that? I had an idea, Mark. You know, sure. you were, you were uh, saying that they were filling the hole where the boats um, exit off the ramp. You know, when they come down in the water and they they um, go out to the lake and they dig a hole there when they uh, put the throttle down. Well, we we filled that with stones. Yeah. Well, I had an idea how to stop, help prevent that from happening and to slow the boats when they exit out of the boat ramp. Take some of the 14 buoys that you have and move some of them over there so that people would actually have to navigate slower through yeah. to go out. But that's, that's not the erosion. The erosion is caused by when they, when they, when they, they put it on the trailer. They put it on the trailer. They gun it to get it up on the trailer. So it's only like the trailer. No, he said it was when they're going to go up. That's what he said. But that, that would push it on the ramp. That would push the sand on the ramp. I agree with you, but that's what he said. So I thought it slowed it down to exit. Gosh, yeah. That's what he said. That well, yeah, they, when you're on you know, the bass bolts, they just go up, gun it, and it. Makes it sure. The same thing yeah. with the uh, yeah. office. That's how it is. You go to most people's back, you'll see that too. A little spot where it's mm -hmm. really? the shallower it is. Okay. Oh. That's what you said. So I thought that if you going out, yeah, you could if someone got gases it, but we got a, a limit, a speed limit there. You're not supposed to. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but lucky we can't read. <laughs> um, so, you wanted to know what they did with the sand, yeah. which I took movies off. Yeah. They they hosed it and they put it on this side of the pier. About ten feet above the water level. So they they'll be able to smooth it out later. Is that what you mean? No, it's just washing back. Oh yeah. So you saying they didn't put it on the beach? No, I watched them. They have the hose thing, and it yes, it was beach, but they didn't put it on the other side of the pier. They put it on the side where it's going to wash back. Yeah. Once they put the. Uh, you understand? The high, what do they call those things? The barriers underneath the woody barrier and the boathouse. Then the leeward side they of the, the sand drops it, it there. So that by having a solid barrier, the current and the wind causes the sand to lay at the leeward side of, of the current, yeah. which puts it all in the boathouse. So probably if they didn't have those concrete barriers, it may not go that and cause yeah. that. But they didn't move it far. No. They only moved it about 20 feet. Yeah. The uh, that's where it came from. I'm willing to bet, I bet you the analogous will back me up that it's not wind blown sand, right? Yes. Oh, it's yeah. the current uh, wind and wave and, and, uh, on the along the edge that scholars it and the dock sticking out is a proven fact in oceanography that the uh, uh, piers and jetties like that cause a, the currents to cut in in the back. It's an eddy. And it, it's going to drop something we to, to do that, and we're just going to have to continue to do this. Uh, if they put a jetty where the sailboats are on the opposite side of the building, it would scour out the boathouse and the exactly. sailboat would go on the other side. Exactly. So 
Well, it's kind of when it fills in the cold, they wouldn't yeah. do anything about it. Yeah, the cold is already pretty. The cold snow. Yeah. Yeah. The boats can't get under. Yeah, but that happened really bad before they did all the work. Yeah, they never took it out. I don't know why so, they won't take that up when they take it out. Are, are we going to talk about potential dredging at some point? That we're we're going to have to at some point. Because there, are other, sure. there are other places on the lake that Absolutely. Are, have that issue. Yeah. And when is the right time of year to do that? Well, that's a good, a good thing to ask our yeah. uh, consultants too. Okay. All right. Um, do you want that on the agenda, sir? No, yes. it's too early for too early for dredging. Yeah, I think we we may it may come up in the course of talking about what we want them to look at next year. Okay. But I don't think we can have a, a, a discussion about saying we want to how we want to approve it or whether we want to consider it because we don't have enough information. Right. Okay. okay. All right. Is there um anything else any other items that we need to uh review everything we've everything that was on our agenda is done uh everything that uh mary had on her items i see it seems to be done did you have something you want to talk about oh. uh okay Bob, did you have anything uh, that you wanted to, uh, anything else? No, I'm good, Mike, thank you. Okay, and um, Mark, are you gonna be uh, continuing on Zoom for these meetings or do you think you'll be coming in person at all? I'll be in person for your February meeting. I'm actually on vacation right now, so I, I popped in. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you for sharing your vacation with us. Yes. You're welcome. I, I hope you weren't planning to ski or anything like that. <laughs> no, but I'll be there for February. All right. Sounds great. like it'll be a, a action pack. All right. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for joining in. Uh, is there anything that anyone else has? Okay. Yeah, so I think it's a good point about sharing the yeah. yeah. That's a all we see. <laughs> all right, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. A motion. A motion. A motion. Okay. Second, second. All in favor? Uh, Any opposed? Yeah, I don't think so. I think all right. Stay later. Yeah. <laughs>